What's going on everybody? So, a little bit of a different video once again. Um, well, last video was truck talk. This video is going to be actually more designing as well as a little bit of an update. Um, so, this is my little setup here behind me. The desktop is running these two at the moment and it can run that one but I don't have it hooked up. I need to get a new graphics card. It's been something I've been putting off for probably a year. I'm using a 960 Ti, which doesn't exactly enjoy running this setup, especially with the two, well, not landscape monitors. It is great for doing all sorts of PDF reading, but not so much anything else with this graphics card because it is barely keeping up at this point, which is why I only have two monitors on at the moment. The MacBook, on the other hand, which you see here, the brand new one, yeah, that will run all three plus its own screen. I really should just switch over to using this as more of an office setup and just have the one monitor for gaming or two because Discord goes up on the uh, portrait sized one. But no, today's video is not about that, though it might turn into that eventually. Today's video, I am helping Matt out and designing him a website. So Matt, super creative guy, super talented behind the camera, and he loves editing. This guy, probably one of the most talented editors that I know. And he does not have a website yet. So I talked with him a little bit and told him, hey, I can help you out, design your website. Uh, we'll figure out the rest from there. So I'm gonna actually jump over to a screen recording and that, will show you exactly what I have done so far. It's really basic, just some general sketches that need a little bit of work and whatnot. I'll probably do it later using the phone because I have a Note series phone. I get the little stylus and can actually draw, which is a lot better when you don't have a tablet for drawing. But check this out. Okay, so I know I now I'm recording sound. I'm using Zoom, funny enough. I was using uh, Media Player or something, whatever the heck is on Max for the last bit where I did not have sound, unfortunately, which that's fine. I'm just gonna fast forward it anyway. I cut it off after like five minutes because it just was boring of me going through design like features and adding in little things as they popped into my head. So there's no rhyme or reason to that. Matt is going to be joining us here in a second once he finishes filling out some forms and then he will get to see the website for the first time. So that's when you will get to see it for the first time as well. This is just the rough edit for the beginning. It hasn't changed much since that last little bit. Uh, I spent most of the time actually writing a description for him so that he has something rough to go off of, of what to exactly call it and where to put stuff. This is probably gonna get expanded. Uh, I know he has like a sweatshirt design that he wants to put out there. And I think he's gonna be looking into Shopify or some way of doing that. I personally use Redbubble. I might transition though, because I haven't seen much activity on Redbubble, but we'll see what he thinks of it. You ready to see your website? Yes, sir. And this is rough. Like I didn't end up getting quite as far along with it as I'd hope. I can and what no no worries no i can still email you all the photos and stuff too yeah once you email me photos it'll start to look a little bit better uh got you got like some stock photos and it's just using google site so google sites is free easy to use the only time you have to pay for google sites is once you actually have like a domain name so your web address so similar to how i have 531media.net mm -hmm. um, then you'd have to find like mk prod or whatever or which I don't even I I just see if it's like a copyright name. Yeah, that's where I have some hesitation even with my name because there's a five three on media.com where I do more of a media house thing. This is an old WordPress that's like two years old and has one post. You've shown me it actually, yeah. It's just like uh 
okay, you're not even doing this anymore because you posted once and just told it the name. And yeah, 531 is uh, media is copyrighted, but I don't know if they're saying 531 versus 531. It's that type of thing. I know, yeah, you can totally. Oh, well, like, I know what you mean. Exactly. Because I always say 531. But there anyway. is an MK, there is an MK Prod video make already. Yeah. Kenyan dude. Yeah, exactly. So you may have to adjust that, but, or like, I basically said, mine's a media house uh, or whatever. But you ready to see it? Yeah. Here we go. That's, there we go. Damn, dude. Yeah. Nice work. So I thought you'd enjoy the stars because it's subtle, but at the same time, I think it highlights the logo and whatnot. Subtle black bar at the top as your way of navigating it. Um, I just made some quick little things in Illustrator. That's what these two are. Like those took me all of like 15 minutes. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, then they're working links too, so. Oh, word. That links right to Hell yeah. Insta and this one to YouTube. Maybe and, I would probably want to do personal in there too, maybe. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say is personal. We can stick in another spot. I think just the two looks nice on this page. And then if we go over here, we got your little portfolio. So I just threw a couple of the YouTube videos in there because it's harder to embed the Instagram videos. There's oh, yeah. some little glitch that I still can't quite figure out with Google Sites despite some research because no I'm trying to do it on my own. But because Google Sites is more limited, like you can't quite choose text like you want and stuff like mm. that, but it's free. So, um, and then the about page, I this is probably what took me the most time, honestly, was writing an about for you, but I did steal a picture. Damn, of Adam Moy. But feel free to read it. Tell me what you think. Tell me where I can add more, remove something. Like I thought it was just a nice little nod to you and your creative ability. So nice picture too. Yeah. What, was that on Instagram? Yeah, it was. That's actually a decent shot. I forgot about that. That that was like a good random edit. Yeah. MK prod one word. Yeah. I realized that after I typed it or after I'd already gone to this mode, but yeah, you'll have to give me Hell yeah, dude. awesome. A that or you even shoot like a video oh, introduction that you can have as a listed unlisted video on YouTube and throw in here or something like that. But what's also cool about Google Sites is if mm -hmm. you go back to like the homepage, page, this is where you'll notice it the most. You can look at it as if it was in tablet. So hey, let's fire tablet. And mm -hmm. this is what it looks like on a phone. Uh, you've got your little navigation bar up here so you can see all those. And you can add more pages and whatnot into the site. But wow. Yeah. Wait, can we um like change fonts and stuff? Yeah, uh, not really. You have to change the theme, and that's kind of where it gets interesting. Is Google uses themes, so it's one of those things where it's like, okay, that's. We look at some themes. To be honest, yeah. I love the stars. I just don't. I want the font to be the same as my logo, which is um. I'm not sure what it. I think it. it yeah. No. I don't I'm, know what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, but you really are limited to just these themes, which is unfortunate. I mean, you can select like what's what bold it, look like. Uh, I think it's uh, bold can look like it doesn't really change it that much. It's in yeah, I think it was in bold before. Um. 
or no, it's classic. I don't know, but you scroll yeah. down. That's literally all of them. I just the the I I think I want I would I like I love it, bro, for sure. I think I'd have to change the font. And that's the problem with, and like I said, you can't really change the font, which is annoying and utterly oh, good. So that's the one downside to this is not being able to change the font. But once I no work, work learning Adobe and whatnot, it shouldn't be too bad to change. But I think it has to do with like copyright issues primarily because some fonts are copyrighted, Microsoft, some are copyright of course. Adobe and all that type of deal. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. I know that video is probably a little bit lame. I know. Believe me. Uh, I want to shout out Matt. Great friend. He's my brother. Brother from another mother. But no, uh, seriously, if you need help designing anything or you want something designed for you, let me know because I actually do a lot of design work for other stuff. I have actually sold my logos and branding and whatnot to people before when I have done work for them. Uh, really, I can do just about anything. I have the full Adobe Suites as well as I'm kind of teaching myself more on web design. So please feel free to reach out whether you want some advice or anything like that. Uh, I really just like making stuff. So give me something to make. Give me some ideas. Hell, I'll throw it on Redbubble if I really like what I make under your suggestions and then you can get a copy of it so yeah anyway thanks for liking commenting subscribing stay tuned for more and have a good day everybody